uh, it was good to have him in. And then Mickey Johnson had a, uh, has been struggling with a orbital bone fracture, so he's coming back, getting his minutes now. Happy to have him back. Um, same, Josh Collin, back in the squad after a, a hamstring injury. Now I think he has played two full matches, so he's up and running. Uh, Jamie McGrath as well uh, was close to being in our last squad. Started the season really well at Aberdeen, uh, creating, scoring, man of the match performances, etc. Uh, Finasas is another one, been playing well for Middlesbrough. Saw him last last week when he pl when they played Stoke. Uh, impressive. Now again, the day before yesterday had a good performance against West Brom, so uh, a, a guy I think can step up and, and show his strength for us. Then uh, um, maybe the more surprising Mark McGuinness, centre-back at, uh, at Luton, has been playing really well for, for, for this season, uh, aerially, aerially dominant and uh, set-piece threat. Uh, really a set piece threat, but really a, also a good range of passing, uh, and been really oppressive, impressive for 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 Luton, and then Jack Taylor as well, um, getting bigger and bigger roles at Ipswich, good, good attacking midfielder, good on the ball, dribbling, running with it, um, just a, a good attacking player. Um, of course, when you have new players coming in, some needs to step out. So from last camp, uh, we are missing Will Smallbone uh, and uh, and Seamus Coleman as well, both injured. And then Callum, Alan Brown, Jacob Bryan and Mark Doherty make way for the others to come in. Um, yeah, that, that is that is a squad. Thanks, Nathan. Do you want to start with the first yep. question, please? Uh, Henry, you mentioned some of the players who were left out, the likes of uh, Matt Doherty, who's been in the squad consistently for six, seven years. Why is he not in the squad? Yeah, look, we, we knew this question would come, so uh, not easy easy to, to motivate that for me. Um, so first of all, uh, we know that Matt and Seamus has been here for, for a long time uh, in the squad. Most, our most experienced fullbacks, our best fullbacks playing at the highest level for a long time. But unfortunately, they will not play forever. Uh, so we need to have a plan B if they are not there. So my job is to get this team to the World Cup in US 226. And given that next year, 2025, if we end up in a group with five nations, all our FIFA windows next year will be official World Cup matches. So this is the only chance to kind of experiment to give players chance to show what they can do. Uh, and that is the reason why we opted to go for, for other players at this stage. Um, I called Matt yesterday, obviously he deserves for, for an explanation. He was not happy, of course, he wants to play every game for Ireland, but I just ensured him that it's not like we are leaving him out. We're just testing other players and think uh, because of his experience as well, not to bring him in, to have him on the bench, it's better just to give him the, this camp off. The Nations League obviously has an importance in terms of rankings and a knock-on effect over the next few years. Would that suggest that you don't feel that these games are as important as the qualifiers coming next year? How do you look at these games? Are they basically no. a step up from friendlies? Yeah, it's always more important. It's, it's, it's a competition and we want to win all games, whether it's a friendly or, or, or a competition. We always want to want, win. I think we, we have a good team, to, good enough team to, to get points this this camp, uh, but of course the most important thing is to get to the World Cup and be ready when that comes. And I think one of the reasons uh, we haven't been performing in the reason is, is the rotation of the players, so we need to find quick our starting 11 or close to the starting 11 and then play them regularly because it's, it's in, in the national team it's, it's the connection between players that is the most important. And if we're always rotating, we, we, we would be struggling in these connections. Sorry, does that not contradict what you just said when it comes to Matt Doherty? If he's an important 
part of the squad going yeah, forward? Why yeah, do you not want them playing it? it? It's absolutely a mix of both. So I need to take a decision to look forward, but I think we have good enough players to do a good job now. One of the talking points since the last camp has been the amount of games that you've been attending. How many games have you been at uh, in England? How many times have you gone to watch the players? I don't count the, the games I've been at, but last week was pretty intense for me, up and down England, seeing, seeing matches. But like I've said before, uh, I thought time efficiency for me is to see more players than the individual. We, we don't have many players playing at the same team or same club. So, for example, last week uh, when I was traveling, I could see one or two players playing and the whole day more or less went into traveling between matches. Uh, so that is why I've invested more time watching more players on the apps we have, on the, on the computer, on the telly, etc. So I will gather more knowledge on, in a time. So it's more like time investment for me. Uh, just the other players who were left out then uh, from the last squad, Alan Brown, Callum Robinson, uh, Jacob Ryan in a different situation. Can you explain the reasons they're not in? Yeah, we wanted to see all the players. So it's just a rule from FIFA. We can only pick 23 players. We do 24 players this this time around, but we can only pick 23 players. So if we want to see others, somebody that needs to drop out. And there's no no other reason. They all perform perform pretty good last camp. Ed, how are you doing? So just wondering, um, you had a chance to assess uh, Troy Parrott in a matchday situation. Um, what's, what, what could he bring to your squad? How would he fit into your system? No, I really liked, I've seen the last two, maybe three games he played. He's been on fire for, for Asset, uh, both in, uh, in the Euro, Euro games and also in the league. Uh, he's, he's different in a way, he, he, he is eager to take the runs in behind and we, we need that. It's similar maybe to, to Sami, who is willing to always take the run and spin off in behind. We need that kind of uh, an attacking player. Uh, and he's he's thirsty for goals. You can see that he always wants to go in front of the goal, being ready there. So I like him a lot as a striker. When you just talk about a couple of new additions, Jack Taylor, Mark McGuinness, two good uh, ball-playing footballers. Um, Mark obviously came through Arsenal, so he has that confidence in defence. But Jack is, is good at adding creativity. Is that almost what you're looking for a bit more? Uh, not just possession football, but actually playing the ball forward, those good attacking forward passes, is that what you're looking for a bit more um, in this window? Yeah, I think we should, we should be pragmatic in our approach, especially on the ball. I think that is something that, that, uh, that I've been trying to implement from the beginning, to be quick finding the options. Uh, and again, I'm repeating myself, with a lot of rotations. It's difficult to be a, a good ball possession team where we are rotating players and we don't have many, many matches together. So yeah, I, I think at this moment it's better for us to be more pra pragmatic, seeing the options early, uh, and it's good to have players with the vision to find it. Any further questions in the live press conference, guys? Yes. Dan, please. Thank you. Can I just, um, can I just start by, but Jake O'Brien is it just that he wasn't playing James? Is that the primary reason he's missed out? Or? Yeah, and, and the, the reason is that there's not a big difference between the players, in my opinion. We have a lot of good centre backs, really a lot of good centre backs. So I just want to see at this stage Mark, uh, see him now, and, and then somebody needs to step up, uh, step out, sorry, and. Uh, and that, that was Jake at this stage. I explained to him yesterday uh, and he, he respected the decision. But obviously no no player would like to miss out the chance to play for his country. Can I just ask that Tom Cannon's goals last night for the last minute? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we kind of selected the, the squad prior to the matches. I don't think we would have changed it, but it's really nice. We are so happy for him to, to get the goals. Now he's starting to play on a regular basis. Hopefully he will continue. Uh, it, was, it was nice to see uh, an Irish player score four goals in, in, in one game. But you could also see in the game he was, he was really tired in the end. So he's not 
he's not fully match fit, but for sure we are, we are so happy for him to to have scored these goals, and hopefully he will continue scoring. And he is he is in our uh, he's in our backup squad, so if something happens, it's easy to call in a guy that scored four goals yesterday. Just last one, can I just ask what would represent a good week next week? Well, I'm looking for good performance, and normally from a good performance, we, we will get points. Uh, I'm not going to say a, a, a tally, but I would really like to build on the the Greece game, where I felt that we were we were at least doing the basics and doing the principles better than against England. I hope we continue to build on that, and if we do, we definitely will get results. Thank you, guys. Boardroom for the dailies. Thank you very much.